The top executive in charge of Microsoft's all-important Windows operating system is out just weeks after the company launched the latest version of that software. Eric Hesseldahl from All Things D here to discuss what happened with Steven Sanofsky. Eric. This, I, this took us all by surprise. Actually, it looks to me like a very well-timed and very well-planned departure. Uh, Windows 8 is out the door now. Uh, Sanofsky was brought in specifically after the debacle that had been Windows Vista to kind of get the ship back on track. And uh, so he did that. Windows 7 was generally uh, after Vista. I mean, anything would have been an improvement. People Windows really 7, like Windows 7. People's really li people tended to like Windows 7, and it was seen very uh, un as an unusual success for a, a franchise that had t generally not done well for a while. And then uh, Windows 8 is out the door. And so there's a moment here where Sanofsky can walk away and say, success, I've launched Windows 8. And you can move on to the next thing, whatever it may be, outside of Microsoft. Um, and so it looks to me, he had always been kind of the, the iconoclast within Microsoft. He tended to clash within the culture. People tended not to, he tended to uh, mm -hmm. uh, kind of protect a lot of the, uh, a lot of the, a lot of the political, politically important projects within his own silo. So classic Windows silo management. Okay, which is, there, there's more we should say, Shira Ovide has a great story in, in the marketplace section of the journal today, but yep. she talks about how in the one sense he had really, he had really won plaudits for, for leading some of these complex yes. software projects. On the other hand, he didn't play politics too well and he was, he was willing to uh, some people said run roughshod over other executives in order to get certain things out the door, right. which one you got to wonder, in certain cases, you, you kind of probably have to do that with an organization as large as exactly, Microsoft. Exactly. Exactly. One of the classic managerial problems within Microsoft is that there is this resistance to change. There is resistance to new innovative products. We've heard a lot about Microsoft's lost decade under Balmer, um, and, and that was the subject of a, of a great magazine piece uh, in Vanity Fair over the summer that got a lot of people thinking about what had gone wrong. There is a cultural problem, and Sanofsky kind of personified this to a certain extent, and that new products are seen as a threat. When some Something is seen as a threat to an established product, and this happens not just in Microsoft, but in other large companies that have long histories. New products that threaten established revenue-generating products, they get tamped down, and this that was is one now, of the classic So, problems. one of the interesting things here is the fact that he, uh, Shira, in her story, also also makes the point that he didn't make nice with hardware partners. Precisely. Now, the Surface, besides Windows 8 just coming out, the Surface tablet w was was launched at the same time. Yep. This is a, a huge departure for a company that has always made software and relied on companies like HP and Dell to deliver it in their boxes. It is a now they're providing their own hardware, and that has to, I mean, that, that's problematic for, and not only, by the way, are they providing their own hardware, they're doing it with a different chip. So they're, not only are they probably frustrating yes. the, the guys who make the box, they're also frustrating Intel, who historically has always made the chips that work with. Right. Here I mean, is that part is, of it? Is, here, is, 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 here is Microsoft, which is the win in the Wintel alliance that has personified, basically defined the personal computer industry for decades, uh, upending the win part of that and walking away from the Tel, uh, bringing in an ARM-based chip for the, for the Surface, as we discussed, and doing its own hardware. Fundamental departure from the way it's always been, and that's kind of definitely uh, causing all kinds of waves within the industry. Is, is, that, is, is this a sign that Microsoft... Is, is 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 aware of frustrations among its hardware and, and among its hardware partners and also Intel and therefore I mean, is this a step back in any one way the, from the strategy the, they've now embarked on? One of the fundamental problems with the PC industry, the hardware guys have always generally relied, they haven't really innovated all that much in years. The only company that's really seen as innovating on hardware lately is Apple. We all know that. Microsoft is seen as uninnovative and it blames and, and Apple is widely blamed for that. Balmer has set Microsoft on a new strategy where, you know, they're not going to yield any single product category to Apple any longer. They're just not going to. They're going to put up a fight on every front that they possibly can. The Surface is an example of that. And it is a fundamentally different product that we've seen from, from any of the hardware vendors. It's, it, you look at all the different tablets and they're all basically peas in the pod. They're the same thing, just done, diff, just done you know, nuances differently. And so Microsoft is trying to take the bull by the horns and, and run ahead. And that, that kind of puts Microsoft on a different course than it has been in the past. And it probably is a good time for a leadership change. Because I would argue that that's probably the absolute wrong time for a leadership change, right? The guy who puts this in, in in, 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 who kind of gets that ball rolling is now is now gone. I mean, 
it's, it's just it's all very confusing. Yeah, it is confusing, and I think it's I think it's a time I think it's a time for Microsoft to and partially also I think Sanofsky. I mean, we we don't know what exactly was the problem between Sanofsky and the other Microsoft managers, but now that the new strategy is in place, I think maybe there's a there's a moment where Microsoft has decided to take a pause, um, clean up some of its political. Uh, messes, you know, conflicts between different managers and so forth, and and try to start fresh and, and press on to the mm -hmm. next thing. We we have a statement, by the way, f uh, from Steve Ballmer, that I, I think I think we can put on screen. There you go. The products and services we have delivered to the market in the past few months mark the launch of a new era at Microsoft. To continue this success, it is imperative that we continue to drive alignment across all Microsoft teams and have more integrated and rapid development cycles for our offerings. Alignment across all Microsoft Teams. Mm -hmm. That kind of sounds similar to the release that Apple put out when Scott Forstall, the head of iOS, was put out in the sense that they wanted to encourage collaboration. In Precisely. other words, this was code. We're getting code in both cases that these guys didn't play nice. Exactly. There, there are very strong similarities. I mean, I mean, um, uh, Forstall at Apple was just generally not seen as fitting with the Apple culture, as they like to say. And so we see a lot of the same complaints here with Sanofsky. Microsoft has some fundamental problems, not just within Windows, but but it's, it's got this new vision where Office has got to be uh, aligned. We saw another release yesterday that nobody talked about except me, um, about how um, its SharePoint product is starting to take on a lot more collaboration. So you're starting to see a lot more more alignment, a lot more. Of course, things. they have to do that with Box.net, making their life harder. Exactly. <laughs> sorry, exactly. Sorry. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. But they, no, but there, there is a, there is a fundamental change within Microsoft where everything has to play nice together. And for a long time, it's just been a series of silos that mm -hmm. tended to compete against each other. And that, that, that culture has got to be shaken up a little bit. Okay, Eric. Thanks so much for joining us. You You're going to have a lot more on this, I'm sure, on all things D throughout the day. So you can check out that blog. They are frankly the best when it comes to tech news one of one of the best really